Hello, welcome back to the PLSQL tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to discuss about uh, how to use SQL functions in PLSQL. So essentially, you can use most of the functions that are available in SQL that is also valid in your PLSQL procedure application. Okay, so single row, single row, number function, character function, data type, conversion function, date, timestamp, data stamp list, all the things, whatever you've seen in your uh, SQL uh, tutorial in SQL functions, those things are all available in PLSQL expression. However, you cannot use these functions like decode, group functions, like uh, say for example, I'm going to write an expression, let's say, I, I cannot do so like x is equal to max of 5, 6, 12, okay? So this is not allowed, okay? Because max is a group function, and then you cannot use uh, this group functions like max, mean, sum, and all those things. Uh, inside, uh, you know, PLSQL Express. However, still you can use this group function in your SQL. Okay, so that is something different. But what what we are talking about here is that can you use those things in a PLSQL expression or not? Okay, so I say for example, I can let's take an example and that that's going to clear a couple of doubts. Okay, so here I have to I declare a couple of variables and then I assign those variables and then I can use greatest. Okay, that is that is very much allowed. But I cannot use C is equal to max of A comma B. It's not allowed. Okay. And uh, here is uh, a example of your uh, like now my variable is X and I assign to top and I make an use uppercase, right? So this is your character function, single row character function. So single row character function is used here. Car function. So single row car function is used here to change uh, the value of this variable uppercase so here's an example where i am so this is basically another expression y is equal to two of debt so this is a debt conversation so basically we are converting a character okay we are converting a character which is 10 0 1 2 0 1 0 we are converting back to a debt variable using two debt um, using the format string that is ddmmy. Okay, so in this case, uh, what we are doing is we are uh, the value of y. Y is a dead variable. Okay. So y is a dead variable, and then we we convert that uh, you know uh, from a character to a dead. And then some more uh, example code that can be also available here in this thing. So let's take a example that some more examples that to make sure that you got understand. So here is that. Uh, I use this. I, I build this expression, and in this, in this expression, what I do is I first use uh, the last day of this day, so that you know whatever this is day uh, is today's day. I will get the last day of that month. Okay, and then by using trunk, I can truncate what is the last Monday, you know, last which is which is a month of, of, of this thing, and then I can do a round so that whatever. So basically, what I'm I'm showing here is that I used three SQL functions in this field SQL expression round, last day, and trunk. Similarly, in this example, uh, I am using extract function and then I'm extracting, and after I extract whatever the value from this thing, I'm going to compare with 2000. So the value from, so you know, so the, the extract year is coming is uh, today's date is something in 2011. So therefore, this extract this statement is going to give me 2011, and then 2011 is greater than 2000. So therefore, this variable is assigned to true, and therefore this condition is going to satisfy. And then I'm going to show you that this is a function essential. Okay. So what I'm showing here is that I'm showing how do I use extract function that's available in SQL so that I can get, uh, you know, like I can use those things in my field SQL expressions. And then uh, last example, uh, I'm giving you again the two debt. So I use two debt, two debt function, conversion function, and also I use two number conversion function so that I can get the character to a natural number. Okay. So basically, what I did is whatever the age that I defined. So age is two debt, and then from this debt, I'm getting the year, which is nine zero. Okay, and then. So age in yy is in a two-care format, and then I get the character value, and then I I 
cast it to number to number and then assign to current year. okay so this is an example of showing some conversion okay. so the summary here is that whatever sql functions you you have seen almost all of them all most of them can be used in building a pl sql expression except decode so decode is not allowed and then the group functions like max count so those things are not allowed in pl sql expression however you can always use group function on your sql inside the pl sql so that is different so i am talking about here pl sql expression okay. in pl sql expression this kind of functions are not allowed so that's what uh, all these things about uh, how to use sql functions and you can do a lot of things by using sql functions inside pl sql and it's very important to learn to know what are the sql functions are available uh, and then all these things are you can get a reference uh, from your sql uh, documentation given by oracle thank you